In jiu-jitsu and grappling sports, there's a lot of grabbing, pushing, pulling, manipulating weight with our hands, our fingers, and a lot of grip training as well. Why this is important is the, the grip in the hand and the wrist movement, all that comes up from muscles that come up through the forearm and they actually attach at the elbow. So common kind of tennis elbow, um, golfer's elbow, nerve injuries, overuse injuries, a lot of pain in and around the elbow comes from weak muscles, weak tendons, and weak ligaments attaching in and around this area and overloading and overusing them. A, a nice test that I like to use in order to, to make sure we have the capacity and the strength as a standard across the board, sometimes it's plus or minus, is we like to take a, a 10 pound dumbbell and I do a one minute test just moving in and around the wrist with that 10 pound dumbbell. It should get your forearms tired, but what we're looking for is that we don't fail in that full minute. We should be able to, with about 60 or 70% of our um, rate of perceived exertion, should be able to control that weight, moving it around constantly without getting symptoms, without overloading the forearm, or without failing and having to quit. If you fail this test, the load ability of your muscles, the tendons and ligaments in and around your forearm muscles are likely a little bit low for the standard of what you'll need for grappling sports. And we should start to work on improving that strength so we don't overload these tissues and get into some tendon tendinopathy problems um, down the line. So it's a super simple test. You can do this on the edge of a table, edge of a bench, edge of your knee. But what we want to do is hang the most of the forearm off of something. So just kind of the meaty part of our forearm and elbows on it. Squeeze as hard as you can, 100% effort the whole time. And all we're gonna do is just move our wrist constantly. We'll go up, down, we'll rotate it, we'll come around, draw circles, draw letters, do whatever you want. We just want constant movement in and around this. And so from here, what we'll start to see is the forearm muscles are gonna start to fire up. You're gonna start to get really tired, but we should be able to, over a full minute, have complete control and sustained movement in and around this dumbbell. If you feel like at any point in time it gets to be too much around your elbow, or if you feel like the muscles are starting to fatigue and we're not able to move it and we're having to quit and we're failing, you likely have a capacity problem and we need to build that up and we'll show you what you do if that's the case.